The year 2026 is shaping up to be a major turning point for Apple's professional desktop lineup. And at the center of that shift sits the Mac Studio. For creators, developers, video editors, and power users who rely on desktop class performance, the next Mac Studio could be one of Apple's most important releases in years. According to current leaks, industry chatter, and Apple's own Silicon Roadmap, the Mac Studio in 2026 is expected to receive not one, but two massive upgrades, the M5 Max and the long-awaited M5 Ultra. What makes this especially exciting is not just the raw performance jump, but the fact that Apple appears ready to correct the imbalance that many users felt with the previous generation. While the 2025 Mac Studio refresh brought some welcome improvements, it also left a portion of Apple's professional audience underwhelmed particularly when it came to value, positioning, and performance gaps between the Macs and Ultra chips. As we move closer to 2026, everything points toward Apple delivering a Mac Studio that finally feels properly tiered, logically priced, and dramatically more powerful. Looking back, why the 2025 Mac Studio felt confusing to understand why the 2026 Mac Studio is generating so much buzz, it's important to look at where Apple left things in 225. Yes, Apple did update the Mac Studio that year, and on paper, it looked solid. The introduction of the M4 Max brought noticeable CPU and GPU gains, proved efficiency, stronger performance for professional workflows, like 4000 and 8K video editing software development, and 3D rendering. For many users, the M4 Max version of the Mac Studio hit a sweet spot in terms of power and price. However, the situation became far more controversial with the M3 Ultra. The M3 Ultra, while technically Apple's most powerful chip at the time, did not deliver the leap many people expected. In real-world benchmarks and practical workloads, the performance difference between a fully loaded M4 Max and the M3 Ultra often felt surprisingly small, especially when you factored in the significant price gap. With the M3 Ultra Max Studio starting around $4,000 and the M4 Max version starting closer to $2,000. Many buyers questioned whether the Ultra variant made sense at all. In fact, a large portion of professionals chose to skip the Ultra entirely, opting instead for the M4 Max or even discounted M2 ultra models that offered better value per dollar. This pricing and performance overlap created confusion and frustration, something Apple is clearly aware of. 2026 changes everything. Enter the M5 generation, fast forward to 2026, and the narrative appears to be very different. All signs suggest that. Apple plans to launch the Mac Studio with both the M5 Max and the M MWU Ultra. Restoring balance to the lineup and giving users a clearer reason to choose one tier over the other. This time around, the performance gap is expected to be much larger, the efficiency improvements more dramatic, and the overall value far stronger, especially. For users who truly need workstation level power, let's break down what we're expecting. M5 Max. A huge leap in CPU and GPU performance, starting with the M5 Max. Apple looks ready to push its silicon architecture further than ever before. CPU. Expectations leaks suggest that the M5 Max could feature up to an 18-core CPU, which would be a substantial jump over previous Max chips. These cores are expected to be split between high-performance cores and efficiency cores, likely around 14 performance cores for efficiency cores. Configuration would allow the Mac Studio to deliver incredible multi-core performance while maintaining Apple's industry-leading power efficiency, tasks like compiling large code bases, exporting massive video projects, running virtual machines, and heavy multitasking should all see noticeable gains. GPU power takes a massive step forward where things get even more impressive is on the GPU side. The M5 Max is rumored to include up to a 42-core GPU, which is a huge jump from previous generations. More importantly, Apple is expected to introduce architectural improvements that could deliver 50 to 55% better GPU performance compared to the current generation. This has major implications for 3D. Rendering motion graphics, 
Advanced Video Effects Game. D-E-V-E-L-O-P-M-E-N-T-A-I-X, accelerated creative tools for many professionals. The M5 Max alone could be powerful enough to replace older Mac Pro. Configuration something that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. M5 Ultra. Desktop class power on another level while the M5 Max will be impressive. The M5 Ultra is where Apple's ambitions truly shine. Unlike 2025 when Apple skipped an M4 Ultra entirely, 2026 is expected to bring a full generational leap with the M5. Ultra essentially combining two M5 Max chips using Apple's Ultra Fusion technology, CPU, up to 36 cores of pure performance, the M5 Ultra could feature up to a 36 core CPU, likely. Split in two. 28 performance cores 8 efficiency cores this would place the Mac Studio firmly in workstation territory, capable of handling extreme workloads with ease. Large-scale simulations, professional film production, massive datasets, an enterprise-level software development would all benefit from this level of compute power GPU. Up to 84 cores, and nearly double the performance, the GPU is where the M5. Ultra becomes truly astonishing. Leaks suggest Apple may push the GPU to up to 84 cores, potentially delivering 90 to 100% better performance compared to the M3 Ultra. That's close to a full generational doubling, which is extremely rare in the desktop computing world. This improvement isn't just about raw core counts. Apple is also expected to integrate next-generation AI accelerators, similar to what we've seen in newer iPhone and iPad chips. These AI cores will play a major role in machine learning tasks, real-time video processing, and future Mac OS features. Built around Apple Intelligence.ai, machine learning, and the future of Mac OS one of. The most important but often overlooked aspects of the M5 generation is its focus on AI, neural processing. Apple has been quietly preparing Mac OS for a future where machine learning plays a central role in everyday workflows. From intelligent photo and video editing to real-time transcription, advanced search, and automation, the Mac Studio with M5 chips will likely be optimized for these tasks at the hardware level. This makes the 2026 Mac Studio not just faster, but more future-proof, especially as Apple continues to expand its AI-driven features across Mac OS. Design and cooling, it's familiar, but proven in terms of physical design, don't expect radical changes. Apple is likely to keep the same Mac Studio. Enclosure, and honestly, that's a good thing. The current design offers excellent thermal performance thanks to its dual fan system and large internal heatsink. This allows the Mac Studio to sustain high performance. It's under heavy loads without excessive noise or thermal throttling. There is some speculation about a new color option. It's possibly a darker or space black finish. But structurally, the Mac Studio will remain familiar, given how much power the M5 Ultra could generate. Keeping a proven cooling system makes perfect sense. Studio display and ecosystem possibilities, while the focus is clearly on the Mac Studio itself. There's growing speculation that Apple may also refresh its studio display lineup around the same time. Higher refresh rates, improved HDR support, or even mini LED or old technology could be on the table if Apple aligns these updates. The Mac Studio could become the centerpiece of a fully refreshed professional desktop ecosystem. Release timeline. When to expect the Mac Studio 2026 based on current information, the most likely release window for the new Mac Studio is summer, 2026. Apple is expected to announce the device at WWDC 2026. It's typically held in early June. If Apple follows its usual pattern, the Mac Studio could become available within one to two weeks after the announcement. Putting availability around mid-June 2026, this timing aligns perfectly with Apple's focus on developers and professionals making WWDC the ideal stage to showcase such powerful hardware. Pricing. Finally, better value for professionals, perhaps. The best news of all is pricing. Current expectations suggest that Apple will keep pricing consistent with previous generations. But deliver far better value. M5 Max Max Studio, starting around $2. OOO M5 Ultra Max Studio, starting around $4. OOO this time. However, the performance difference between the Max and Ultra models 
is expected to justify the price gap. For users upgrading from an M1 or M2 Max Studio, or even older Intel-based Macs the leap will feel enormous. Who should upgrade? The 2026 Max Studio looks like an ideal upgrade for video editors working with 4K, 8K, or raw footage 3D artists and motion designer software. Developers and engineers AI, researchers and machine learning professionals power. Users who want Mac Pro level performance without Mac Pro pricing, if you skipped the M3 Ultra or felt the 2025 refresh didn't offer enough value, 2026 could be the a moment worth waiting for. Final thoughts, the Mac Studio 2026 is shaping up to be one of Apple's most exciting professional releases in years. With the M5 Max delivering massive gains, and the M5 Ultra pushing desktop performance to new heights. Apple seems ready to reclaim its position at the top of the professional computing space. This isn't just an incremental update. It looks like a statement. If you care about performance, efficiency, and long-term value, the next Mac Studio might be the desktop you've been waiting for.